the shield breaker. Many of you have probably seen this in the store and you've wanted to know what it looks like on the inside and the out from the ground. So let's do just that. Just look at the actual scale of this thing. There are many ships in this game and this is definitely probably one of the most interesting from the start to know what it looks like. So let's take a look around the outside. Now that we've seen the outside, let's go ahead and enter. So once approaching the ship, you can see from the front, it is an absolute monster. Let's head up the loading ramp. Downstairs in the cargo, you've got a first aid kit. Obviously, it's got all its storage. There are no doors apart from the one that enters the ship. Let's go up. So upon entering the shield breaker, you are welcomed with what believes to be control room for all of the crew members. This will help you improve your crew that you have in your ship. And as you can see, it's got a door at both each end, a secure door, and it's got a door on the side panel as well. We're now heading to the rear door and let's have a look what they've got inside. So this appears to be what is a storeroom with a top loading dock so you can get out of your ship in other areas. There is another secure door and there's a single door on the side as well. Heading straight through the rear door, what have we got? So in the back here, we have got the captain's quarters. In the captain's quarters, you've got lounge areas, you've got a navigation console, you've even got your own desk and bed. So if you need to get some rest, make sure you do that. Oh, a med pack. And just for those desperate times, you have a loo. Heading back out and approaching the door on the left. We're now going through that singular door. Let's see what's inside. On the inside of here, it appears to be a computer room, room for a single crew member. Obviously, being able to have more crew members is going to help you out massively. It's going to stop you having to get so many talents as well for upgrades on your ship. It's quite a fancy looking room, but however, I don't think I nor you are probably ever going to use it. We're now heading back out into the main hall and we're going to head through that singular door that was on that corridor. Let's see what's inside. Upon entering, you can see a kitchen with all the essentials for the crew. You've got bunks and you've got first aid. This is a fully kitted living quarters with all the beds and all the storage needed for them. And just to make it even better, they've got their own toilets. So they don't have to use yours. Heading back out, we're going to go to the cockpit. Now approaching the cockpit, let's see what it reveals inside. So the cockpit looks pretty amazing. It's equivalent to the one that's in the simulator, if you didn't know. It's got your captain's locker. It's got jump seats. Then heading through, you have to actually go up some stairs to enter the main room once in the main room you can see there's another jump seat on your left then you've got the singular cockpit but at least you can have passengers sitting upon here while you're taking off with another jump seat on the right as well just next to the cockpit or the captain's seat you've got your cargo hold let's get into the chair to see what it's all about i mean it's a pretty good visual from here you're not obstructed by anything because you're right at the front of the ship and once you're in the ship looking around yeah, you still have that same fantastic view. Let's have a look at the exterior from in the cockpit. So looking at the exterior from the cockpit, yet again, your visuals are not obscured. You can see everything and the ship looks brilliant from the outside. I might have to change the color. I'm not a fan of the color. But guys, let me know what you think of these videos. And if you want to see more ships, like, follow, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.